One of the reactors at Comanche Peak near Glen Rose shut down automatically after a non-nuclear equipment issue Friday. But enough electricity to power nearly 250,000 homes basically disappeared from the grid in an instant Friday. You didn't notice, partly because Texas tapped a new power reserve system ERCOT launched just six days prior. Most of the time, the grid can handle interruptions like this, but nuclear is rarely to blame. It's not very common at all. Um, I'm sure that the, uh, you know, whichever uh, site is offline, they're scrambling to put it back. Some power did come back today, and workers are fixing the problem at Comanche Peak. That's important because Texans will test the grid this week as temperatures soar. The coal plants on the grid are uh, 50 years in age. The natural gas plants average 30 years in age. And we need all of them showing up for work every day right now. The good news, Texas's skies should stay blue, allowing solar panels to easily absorb the same energy that's forcing you to crank the AC. Our solar capacity has grown dramatically over the last two years. That's, that's really helping us out right now. You'll work the grid hardest on Tuesday evening, though forecasters predict there will be enough electricity supply to meet your demand. But it's important for nuclear power to be at full strength this summer because this won't be the last hot week. In Fort Worth, I'm Matt Houston.